Okay, so welcome to the mini brainiacs from the Meaden School who are going to tell us all about archaeoastronomy. Over to you. Um, we've each been given our individual topics to learn about. Chloe was doing the pyramids in Giza and also some um, was gravestones in Denmark. Now was doing more specifically about the Stonehenge and Laura was doing more about stone circles and stone roads in general. I was doing about the North Star and we've just recently just done our presentation I want to pass over to Chloe who's going to tell us a bit more about that. Well, what we did, we're, we've gone and done a presentation and we're going to be doing a presentation at Nottingham Trent University um, and we've all we've been practicing it for quite quite a lot of months now, um, doing putting lots of work in, um, and we've been to observatories to look at the um, sun and all 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 kind of other things that looked really good. Well, specifically about our topics, we've been doing a lot on our own, researching about a lot of things. So particularly about each of our topics, we'll tell you now. My topic was what mankind did to the surrounding area of Stonehenge and inside it. And now it was constructed by early Celtic tribes of Britain around 2000 BC. And I'll tell you a few theories that I got about it. It, the, it was an observatory where astronomers charted the motion and movement of the planets and stars. And an astronomical, an astronomical calendar co with contact with extraterrestrials. I was doing work on stone monuments in the British Isles. I found out lots about, mainly about the locations and the variety. We, when we were given the word archaeoastronomy, we had to decide what we thought it meant. I f and eventually, we pieced together that it was stone monuments. But when we researched more, we found out why they meant like with archaeoastronomy. We found out that if you stand in the centre of Stonehenge and look off towards this strange path coming off it, you are facing where the sun would rise in the summer. We wouldn't have known this unless we started researching. To research we um, used many different resources. We used the internet and we were based in the library as well. So we had all the library's books and research posters that were based on the topic that we could have been using. Um, my particular topic was about the, the Pole Star and the North and why it has many different names and what these names are and what it could be used for and how to find it. Found out using the two constellations, um, the Big Dipper and Cassiopeia, you'd be able to find which where this was. My topic of the pyramids, we made a model pyramid here and it's connected to the Orion constellation and all three pyramids are the same as the three stars in the Orion belt and the smallest one is slightly offline in both cases. All this has been going towards a further production of our summer school later on in the year of, in August and we'll be visiting Stonehenge in a few monuments. monuments. Um, we will also be doing another presentation at the Open Dome event at Nottingham Trent University. This will be starting at 8 and end at 10 p.m. and they will be the, doing our presentation a second time and we'll be, well, we've got a more allotted time slot with a, a longer time so we will be able to fit more into our presentation. That's Thank great. You. Do you want to just also say sort of what made you first interested in science and like how your like we were talking about in the session, how your perceptions you have not? changed? Well, I've I have always liked science quite a lot, but when I heard about astronomy and that we were going to do this project on the stars, I didn't really think I'd like it. But when we did more work on it and asked more people about what they thought about it, it, it got quite interesting because we got to understand what it actually meant. Because I didn't really think it'd be any good, but it was really it's been really fun. Um, so I've always liked science, so when this came along, um, and especially when it was about space and things to do with the stars, it, it was always a good thing because I'd always liked things about space and that kind of thing. Same with me, I love science and I get quite high scores in tests, so when this came along I, I like 
things to do with stars and space and planets and things so I straight away wanted to do it and said yes. Um, I've been doing science quite a long time and I, I always enjoyed it. I like the more the practical side and stuff so when this came along it was um, I found it a good opportunity to be able to do something a little bit different than the actual curriculum that we normally do at school and I've enjoyed doing it. Cool, thanks very much and good luck with the rest of your presentations.